with little squeakers making nests between the ropes. Knuckles the crack and nails the tap on the first formica they can find. And jaws full of jump, full of gumption, relentless in motion. Yes, I've got the snappy jaws. I've got the snappy jaws, legs skitter marching to the fuzziest of crouch castles, ease down. Shoulders soft, sliced white, soaking up watery light. Snappy jaws, ink slapping onto flawless paper, teeth grinding up, shapes of phrases, lips swollen by what's still to say, and then it begins. So the next one goes up. Are you okay? And uh, my pointed chin is going to answer you yes. I mean, you might have been sharp and tricky back there, but darling, I have, I have sat with silence and I have stared at trees until they, dis until they disappear. And I, I, know, I know that deep down you are drinkable water, pristine, and you just got covered up by bracken and duck shit when you were sleeping, but this makes you a normal, woven, hand-groaning human. You might have twisted out my toes or coughed hot frog into my eyes. You might have stomped out sparkles just to feel the crunch. You might have twisted out your skin hair by hair to thump and clump into a blanket that doesn't keep you warm, but I can see that you didn't... You, you might have let ghosts inside your tread, gotten lost in candles and threads, and how great you look when you cross your legs and laugh with coloured bubbles in your glass, but I know you... You might have stroked my sleeping eyes, softened strands around my face, and then disappeared, and now you ask. How's the sound? Is it okay? Yeah. Yeah? Cool. Alright, so this is really, really a big experiment. I really hope it works. If it doesn't, it's going to be really awkward for everyone. Sleep desperately at the Monday checkout guy at the bank. In the queue at the bank. And in my head I write today list. Today, where to go, what to do, how to say. Today, where to go, what to do, how to say. Today, where to go, what to do, how to say. Today, my favourite teller is here, the bleached hair blonde with a drunken smile, this line's not moving. Today, where to go, what to do, how to say. Today, my favourite teller has leaky eyes, shifty earrings, bleached hair falling out of a hairpin. Today, where to go, what to do, how to say. Would you like a mint? Says the skirt and blouse who is directing the straightness of the queue. That's the same question my mother phoned last night for. She said, oh, how is your new bed? Do you enjoy your assignments? When are you coming home? Just one day I'd like her to ask about the colour of the sun here, or when I saw in a cup of coffee, or if I have an orgasm from time to time, and though I do not want a mint to fill up this waiting list, I'm in the queue at the bank. A saxophone musket bleeds outside. I'm going to go mad. I'm going to squelch those mitts into my hand, take off my shirt and just piss right where I'm standing, gurgle up some mitts and dance on the personal loans desk. Bare breasts whacking the beat on the still tremendous will splutter. Make fireworks the 4D experience of my grand finale. The line moves forward. My favourite teller takes my pay and she tells me to have a good day and in my head I write my today list. <laughs> it worked, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, one more. How's everyone going? Is this alright? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, 
Lastly, I want to tell you the story of the Grey Lady with the forest under her feet, who is rarely seen without her axe, who swings, who swings the axe to give new sprouts something to grow for, who can stretch herself so tall above the trees that her freckles have been mistaken for bats hanging in the night sky, contemplating where to fly. She carves her defeats in one arm and her victories in the other, and she, she sleeps with her arms crossed as though defeat and victory were the same. She roars loudly enough to erase the growth rings in tree trunks, but she will pinch off a little suckling seed of her voice to sit inside your ear and whisper the quietest of songs. You may have heard her and mistaken it for a sign that the Grey Lady, she is not divine, she simply listens more than she speaks. I want to tell you how she grew where the river splits into two, when a far-off cave burst open and split into fragments that drifted into the sky, then crystallized in changing shapes and colors, then one day snuck into tree trunks to sleep, and the next day burrowed into a womb and gave it quadruplets, one of whom who never understood the word empathy. Then eventually the fragments landed where the river splits into two and grew the tall gray lady. I want to tell you how she, uh, she second-guessed the inventor of Zen and nearly made him bare his teeth. I want to tell how she once went to sleep for 125 years just because we down here were being shitheads, but every time you close your eyes and see something moving, it is her. She swoops in for a visit just when you've forgotten her. Just don't ever try to strap her to your pocket because I have never seen anyone survive that storm. I want to tell you how she can shrink enough to live between the strands of your eyes, how she can eat nothing but the scent of moss, holiday on floating air specks and slippery slide down a single hair just to get herself some grease. She has spent generations laughing at the jokes one can tell to oneself. I want to tell you how, if you let her, she will make a nest inside your ears for the little sapling seed of her voice to sit inside and whisper the quietest of somethings, but to be honest, I can't tell you any of these things because over the years I have come to be almost certain the tall grey lady, she is more than all these words. More than all these words inversed and rolled into a kaleidoscope of possible antonyms of these words. She's not really tall or grey, she is all. She is not she, she is it. It is a, it is an invisible, does, says, is nothing. But I'm not crazy, so instead I'm going to call it a lady and try to tell you about her freckles hanging in the sky and the forest under her feet and that she listens more than she speaks. Thank you so much. Woo!